Standing tall in its all bright white grandeur, this five-story temple in the center of St. George is perhaps the most prevalent landmark in the community. Surrounded by the red rocks of southern Utah, the St. George Temple of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is about to open once more after closing its doors to members for nearly four years. As you know, this historic house of the Lord closed in November 2019 following announcement by President Russell M. Nelson to renovate the pioneer era temples. Since 1877, the historic St. George Temple is the longest operating temple and the first one built in Utah. Yeah, so 1871 is when Brigham Young announced that they would be building a temple here in St. George and it was also the day the ground was broken for the temple and then it took almost six years to construct the temple and actually be put into operation in 1877. The original 150-year-old building built by Utah pioneers has stood the true test of time, despite a couple of fires and the need for extensive remodeling over the years. And there have been over 10 renovations that have been done to the temple since that time. Uh, four major ones um, in 1917, 1938, and 1975. So it has been extensively renovated. A press announcement prior to the tour for media gave insight of the reasons this temple is so special to many. It was in um, between September of eight, 1845 to um, 1846 that members of the church were driven out of Nauvoo where they had just built a beautiful temple. You can only imagine the joy of the members of the church when after 30 years they were able to, uh, to be inside a temple again and to receive the ordinances of the temple, which means so much to Latter-day Saints. Um, I was also sealed in this temple, the fifth generation on my mother's side of the family to be sealed in the St. George Temple. So this is a uh, singularly wonderful day for me. For me, as someone that just recently moved from Europe here to Utah, of course, looking at the temple is a little bit different perspective. If I look at St. George, and as the temple here, it's a historic place, historic in every way, historic when it comes to the colonization of the West, colonization of Utah, and of course, the historic development of the church you have already heard. The newest front doors to the north face what used to be a city street. With this latest addition, the temple went from around 110,000 square feet of space to 144,000. Only good standing members of the church are allowed to go inside. However, for this renovation, the church gave an early tour to the media without cameras. This video provided by the church shows much of what we saw and experienced. The building was renovated to become more structurally sound, both inside and out. We've improved the accessibility for patrons by adding elevators, better stairs, walkways and hallways and corridors throughout. We've also improved the, the function of the temple from a mechanical perspective. It has all new heating, uh, air conditioning, uh, cooling system throughout, LED lighting and uh, state-of-the-art uh, high efficiency systems throughout the temple. Inside, you'll find symbols of the beehive state, as well as antique-style furniture reflecting remnants of the past. On the exterior, it matches better the historic temple, and on the interior, the interior design uh, matches uh, the historic temple and uh, furnishings that would have been appropriate in the 1870s and 80s. I think the pioneers who built this would be pleased with our work. There are murals of landscapes painted by local artists, as well as paintings that help connect visitors with God and nature. And so I think that's one reason why it's important to have these landscapes that are familiar to people in the area, because it, it helps them, I think, feel that connectedness to God. One of the more prominent pieces inside this temple is the gold-laden baptismal used only for deceased ancestors. Dude, this is a work of love, so members do it for their deceased ancestors. What it does not do, and it's important to mention it, that it does not take away agency. So people always choose if they want to follow God or not, but we offer this as a gift of love to them. And by the way we offer it, we get reminded on what we have promised. Landscaping on the temple grounds has always been prominent with water-wise plants creating what many describe as an oasis in the desert. This is a temple I've known all my life. And and uh, 
You know, this was a hot, dusty place, and even when I was a boy, it was hot, and uh, it was just difficult to get around, and this seemed like an oasis in the desert when we'd come onto the temple grounds. I anticipate that uh, this temple will last for 50, 60, maybe even 75 years without a major renovation if it's maintained well. The St. George Temple will be open to the general public beginning September 15th. Reservations for free tours can be scheduled online. And we really hope that people will come and, and check it out. It's a beautiful building and again has a lot of historic meaning to the church. In St. George, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.